You know, when you hear about these Apple announcements, you think this is really just the worst kept secret in the tech industry today. No different. Apple has unveiled these two new iPhone models. Uh, they have new iPhone colors and cases. Voila, you're looking at one of them here. It's got this new uh, operating system, a new feature that uses a fingerprint scanner for security. CNN's Dan Simon is in Cupertino, California, where that big announcement was made. And Dan, um, give me the dirt. How, how are these new phones? Well, well, Brooke, first of all, you know, Tim Cook has said in the past that the company was going to be doubling down on secrecy. Hasn't quite worked out. <laughs> we knew exactly what was going to be announced. Uh, we have two new iPhone models, the 5C and the 5S. Let's first talk about the 5C. Uh, this is basically just like the current iPhone 5 that's on sale, but it comes in a plastic housing and that makes the phone cheaper. Also comes in five different colors. But the, the, uh, the real thing to know about this is that it is cheaper and the company hopes that it will appeal to emerging smartphone markets like China, like India, like South America. Now you have the iPhone 5S. This is the high-end model, faster processor, better camera, and for the first time, uh, Brooke, you talked about it, it's got this uh, fingerprint feature where you can use it to unlock your iPhone or pay for iTunes purchases. Let's see how that feature works. Take a, take, take a look. The team has worked so hard on a brand new technology to make this easy and fun to do. And it's called Touch ID. Touch ID uses a key you have with you everywhere you go. Your finger. And more specifically, your fingerprint, which is unique to each of us. It reads your fingerprint at an incredibly detailed level. And that's because of a brand new sensor called the Touch ID sensor. I got to play with the Touch ID sensor for a little bit. Seems to, seems to work reasonably well. This was not, though, Brooke, a big leap forward in terms of innovation, but it was an important step for the company, particularly with the iPhone 5C, to try to make inroads globally, not necessarily in the United States, but globally, to try to get their market share up. They've been getting crushed by the Google Android operating system, which now has 90% market share worldwide. Brooke? Yeah, so I guess that's part of the reason why those investors are uh, still a little nervous. Dan Simon, thank you very much.